Hi, I am Rishika Gupta working as a software developer at LinkedIn and in today's video I am going to share about top 10 frameworks related to web development you can learn to boost your career in web development. Frameworks and libraries are very essential component of web development. However, choosing the right framework for your web application is a very time consuming process. Not to mention the ever evolving field of web programming where new frameworks and libraries keep on coming every now and then. So here we are to help you. I am going to share the top 10 web frameworks which you can learn to boost your career in web development. If you are new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button and do check out our free master classes by industry leading expert. Link is there in the description box. So let's get started with the video. What are front end frameworks? So front end frameworks include the elements related to UI and UX which are user interface and user experience. It helps in writing a super clean code with standard templates. It also helps in optimizing the SEO of your website and make it more scalable. One thing to note here is all these frameworks are built upon HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So make sure to learn these programming languages first and have a good command on their fundamentals before starting learning with the frameworks. The first framework we are going to talk about is React. So React is a JavaScript based open source library developed by Facebook. It is very popular and widely used in the industry from last couple of years. Companies like Instagram and Pinterest also uses React in its front end development. React uses virtual DOM, which is a lightweight replica of actual DOM in the memory. And the third advantage is using React, you can reuse the component to make an interactive website very quickly. The second framework is Angular. So Angular is a TypeScript based open source framework, which was developed and maintained by Google. It is being used by companies like Google, PayPal and Upwork because of the advantages that comes with Angular. So here are the three advantages which comes with Angular. The first advantage is Angular is very rich and all intensive framework which includes libraries, directives, controllers and other components. The second advantage is Angular uses model view controller architecture which is a structural architecture which divides the system into three logical components model, view and controller. And the third advantage is Angular uses two-way data binding, which means if there is any change in the model, it will be immediately replicated to the view, maintaining the time synchronization between the view and the model. With so many benefits, Angular has its own disadvantages as well. The first disadvantage is, as it's a very vast framework, Hence the processing time is little slower. So if you are building small projects, then maybe Angular is not the best choice for you. The second disadvantage is as the framework is little complex in nature. So if you are a beginner, then you might to have some experience in JavaScript first to learn about Angular. The third framework we are going to talk about is Vue.js. So Vue.js is a light weighted open source framework, which is very efficient and flexible. Few of the advantages associated with Vue.js are the first is it is very simple and easy to learn. So if you are a beginner, then you can easily get started with Vue.js. The second advantage is Vue.js uses model view view model architecture. And the third advantage is Vue.js also uses two way data binding. But there are some disadvantages as well associated with Vue.js. The major disadvantage with Vue.js is that the framework is still work in progress. So it will take some time to get stabilized. The next framework we are going to talk about is Ember.js. So Ember.js is a productive, battle tested, component based JavaScript framework. It uses the MVVM architectural model. So MVVM architectural pattern is a model view view model architectural pattern which separates the graphical UI with the logic of the application. Few of the advantages associated with Ember.js are the first one is there is a very effective data binding in Ember.js. The second advantage with Ember.js is they have a really good documentation support. So if you really want to learn about Ember.js, you can go to their official website and read the official documentation. But the major disadvantage with Ember.js is that the updates are very slow and the community support is not there. So you may find some difficulties in your questions and queries. 
and the last library in front end development which you should definitely learn is jquery so jquery is a javascript based open source library with cross browser compatibilities it is very easy to learn and use and it provides good interaction between different elements of dom few of the advantages of jquery are the first one is the documentation support and the community support of jquery is very good so it will definitely help you in your learning process and another advantage with jquery is it will help you in maintaining your code quality by writing good and clean code now let's talk about backend frameworks so backend frameworks provide an efficient way to speed up your development process by making sure the performance and scalability of your website it also provide security to the website by making sure that your website is secure from external web attacks errors and other issues now let's see the top web frameworks which you can use for your backend development so the first backend framework we are going to talk about is django so django is an open source high level framework which is mostly popular because of the good visual effects it provides in games and other interactive services few of the other advantages with django are django is based on model view template which makes it the only a uh, framework which you can use to build a complete website and the other advantage with django is it is very easy to make seo friendly website using this framework also if you love python as a language then this framework is for you and the next framework is express js so express js is a minimal and flexible node js web application framework which is used by most of the companies because of its flexible nature you can create single page and multiple pages website using express js very effectively few of the other advantages with express js are as you are using programming language of javascript for both front end and back end hence the interaction between your front end and back end is very seamless here the second advantage is there is a very good documentation and community support so if you are a beginner and want to learn about express js then this is the framework for you and another advantage with express js is it is very easy to learn and very beginner friendly so if you already have some experience with html css and javascript and want to learn about full stack web development then you can learn about express js and build a complete website from scratch the next framework is spring boot so spring boot is an open source java based framework which uses mvc architecture so mvc architecture consists of three components model view and controller using which you can develop scalable websites so some of the advantages linked with spring boot are the first one is it is very easy to handle rest endpoints using spring boot the second advantage is you can do dependency management using annotations provided by spring boot so all you need to do is to add the annotation with the dependency and all the things will happen automatically the third advantage is you can handle and debug your code really well you can do error handling and make your website less prone to bugs the next framework is ruby on rails so ruby on rails is an open source framework which can be used for back end development and it is written in ruby language it also follows the architecture that we have already discussed which is mvc architecture so some of the advantages with ruby on rails are the first one is ruby follows the principle of convention over configuration so which you can use to avoid writing multiple configurations in your code the second point is there are lot of libraries which you can easily integrate using ruby on rails so hence you can create amazing features using this framework and the third advantage is testing is done very easily using this framework because there are automated test cases which you can extend for specific use case the next framework we are going to talk about is laravel with php so laravel is a php based web application framework using which you can do authentication session management routing and caching very easily and these are some of the features which most of the website have right so some of the major advantages with laravel frameworks are the first one is laravel provides advanced security feature using which you can secure your website from any external attack The second advantage is websites built using Laravel can handle any request faster than any other framework. And the third advantage is the maintenance and integration of third-party APIs using this framework is very easy and effective. 
So web frameworks are an essential component of web development and each framework come with its own advantages and disadvantages. So based on the specific of your projects and use cases you are trying to solve, you can choose the best framework which suits you. So if you like this video, give us a like, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.